For this final bit of the core guide of ICRPG, we're going to talk about Hero Coins, which is a great resource and tool to help mitigate those bad kind of low rolls or cold dice that sometimes we have to deal with, as well as it can overcome nasty luck over the course of the game. So essentially what a Hero Coin is, is a resource that you can earn over the course of the game. We think about great sessions of tabletop, you know, things that make games exciting, more more sincere, more inventive, um, just more fun for players. Those kind of actions and those kind of things that add to the game deserve recognition, and that's where the hero coin comes in. For example, Sarah came in and saved JD. You know, in a clutch moment, the GM might say, you know what, you deserve a hero coin. Take one um, and add it to your, your character sheet. So Sarah takes that hero coin, just tucks it away for later. Chris and Alex may also have earned one. JD and Drew may have also earned one. So everyone could have a hero coin at one point. But the rule is you can only have one hero coin at a time. No hoarding for these. This is temporary. So it's a recommended to use it and earn them again. But then what can you do with a hero coin? Well, in ICRPG, you can turn in a hero coin to re-roll any die. Now, it says any die in the rules, but usually a lot of times it's stuff that's happening on your turn to kind of you know mitigate some bad luck um, but again it's always up to your gm can i use a hero coin for this and then your gm can make the call the other things that you can do with it is you can turn in a hero coin to add a d12 to any die roll or you can give your hero coin to another player at any time during their play so let's go through a couple examples jd is up he's like i'm gonna get my revenge on that manta and he rushes him for this big ultimate attack jd comes in He's going to, I really got to do this. I really got to do this. I'm going to get him. And then he rolls and, you know, he makes it. So it's all good. But maybe when he rolls effort, he gets a one. Well, why doesn't he drop his hero coin in and say, add a D12 to that effort roll? So now instead of just a one, he adds a D12. Boom, 12 damage. So now this Manta gets hit for 13 damage thanks to the, the use of that hero coin. Or maybe as Drew comes in, he also wants to get a, get in the action. He steps up, tries to shoot off, uh, a shot off with his bow. He's going to try to hit the manta between the eyes, but rolls a two. Well, maybe he wants to re-roll that roll, and he spins his hero coin and re-rolls it for a 13. With his bonus, that's enough. Okay, instead of a fail, it turns into a success, but his hero coin is spent. Sarah wants to you know get involved too. She comes up and she's trying to throw her her throwing knives. She knows that she can roll ultimate, for example, because how good she is. She's going to roll that d20, gets a 16. She makes it, all right? But maybe she really wants to add some extra die, but she doesn't. she's already spent her hero coin. So Chris or Alex say, hey, take mine, take mine, add that d12. So she gets another one and gets to deal 17 points of, dam or 17 points of damage. And so together as a team, these hero coins can pass back and forth between players um, to mitigate some actions as well as just bumping up some, some low rolls whenever you need. And so as a GM, it's highly recommended that you just be aware of things that make the game more fun and then reward those actions. Congratulate and celebrate players, good play, good teamwork, um, inventiveness as well it just gives a dynamic way for players to really think about how can I make this more fun I want to get that hero coin and you work through it and as a GM be free-flowing with them like give enough hero coins that that players know that if you spend it there will always be another one coming coming your way don't be afraid to hand out hero coins because they are such a great useful tool and that's essentially it for the index card core rules Hopefully that helps going over some of the core details. There is much more to learn when it comes to the GM guide and everything, but really if you're playing ICRPG, these simple straightforward mechanics help facilitate easy play, quick dynamic pace of sessions, as well as just a hoot of a game whenever you're playing. So I highly recommend that if you haven't had a chance to pick up ICRPG, go grab the free quick start, review these rules, bring it up with your friends, and just play a game or two of ICRPG. There's the free trial, the Red Hill Inferno, that you can use to test all of these mechanics out. They go through a ton of the details like hearts, effort, targets, attempts, checks, all in that simple trial. So once you've understood the rules, you read through it, just set up the trial, 
run through those encounters and you should be good to go. And hopefully we'll get to see you at the table.